Hey everyone, it's Hannah here at Coldesi, and today I am with our Roland Versa Studio print and cut system, as well as our new application guide. So you can find this on culminatecompany.com, and basically what it is, is it lists all of the different Roland media that we have available for you, and it helps you decide what you're gonna need for the job that you wanna do. I'm gonna go through this with you guys, answer some questions that we get, and go through some extra things that you might need, but also just go into a little bit more detail. So first I wanna go over the flow of the chart, how you're gonna read it, and how you're gonna figure out what you need for your project. So the very first column you'll see is your materials. This is just the straight up name of what each material is. If you type this in culminandcompany.com on the search bar, you'll find what you need this way. Next over is the part numbers. And this part, if you look, you'll see that they're all very similar, except for this one unique identifier. It's in the middle of the part number. So for example, here I have some vinyl to show you how that works. You'll see the part numbers on the box of your vinyl, but it's also inside the vinyl. So you'll see right here, I have an example, the GCVP. The technical name for this is the glossy calendared vinyl. We have that on our list here. If we look for GV, GCVP, a little bit of a tongue twister there, we have it as our glossy permanent adhesive print and cut vinyl. Our names are just a little bit more straightforward. They kind of help you out on what you'll need them for. But like I said, you'll also see it inside the vinyl. So I have another example here. Let's see if you can see that in there, the HTM3. So I'll look on my list, and the HTM3 is our heat soft uh, vinyl. This is the t-shirt vinyl. So really great way if you're throwing away your boxes, because I know that they are kind of boxy. Um, you can just hold on to the rolls of vinyl, and you can clearly know what they are by that sticker in there. Next is gonna be your sizing. And on culminatecompany.com, we carry the 20 inch by 50 feet size of these rolls. And then next you'll see the color coded area. And this is where it's really gonna help you on what you need for your project. So we're gonna go into that a little bit more detailed. But one more quick note before we jump in, I do wanna make sure that you notice the asterisks that are next to some of these product names. If you see one asterisk, that means that it does require the heat transfer mask. If you see two of them, that means that this is actually the mask material. This isn't a material you're gonna print on. And we'll go into detail on what that kind of means when we get to those products. The first roll in media that's on our list that we'll be going over today is the glossy print and cut sticker paper. So if you read the chart, you'll see that this media is good for posters and presentations, uh, point of purchase displays, trade show graphics, art and photography prints, and it's also water and scratch safe. So I have an example of an already printed out design on that glossy print and cut sticker paper just to kind of show you guys what it's like. So this is very similar to like your paper like stickers that you would get as a kid. You'd put them on your sticker collection, you put them on notebooks, maybe even your laptop. But this is a very adhesive type sticker. Like we said, it's water and scratch resistant. So you could use it for outdoor applications. It would be great for that. But just know that because of the stickiness, if you ever go to take this off, it's going to be kind of hard to take off. You're probably going to get some residue. You'll probably need some goo gone or something to get it all off. So I'll just show you if I like lightly stick it on our wood table here. It is, it's on there. It is very tough to take off. So if I keep it on here for a little bit, we're going to have a hard time taking this sticker off later, probably have some of the paper left on the table and we'll have to really work at it. So this is a really great, nice glossy type sticker. You can see that it has that nice shine to it. Um, and this is already printed out. So like we said, the Roland is a print and cut system. So it will print the graphic and then it'll cut it. So this is great for making custom stickers. Like you'll see the little ridges that we have here. Next on our list is the glossy permanent print and cut vinyl. It's also called the glossy calendared vinyl. And this is really similar to the print and cut sticker paper, but it's a little different. It's more of a vinyl material. It's not a paper material. So if you come in close here, you can kind of see it is thinner. So it's not like that, that thick cardstock type paper. It's like a thin vinyl. It is sticky on the other side, but if you put this on a window or an outdoor sign and you take it off, you're not gonna have as much residue left over as you would with that sticky paper. So you know when you're in a store or you're in line somewhere and you see those little stickers that are on the ground that it, maybe they have arrows or pointing you in a direction somewhere? Well, this is the kind of vinyl that you would wanna use for that. 
The glossy permanent adhesive print and cut vinyl is good for point of purchase displays, window graphics, floor graphics, outdoor signage, and it is also water and scratch safe. So after your design prints on this vinyl and then you cut it to your different transfer sizes, you'll then weed the excess material. So you'll take away that extra vinyl. Then you have to put the mask on top. So the mask is like a clear layer that has a little bit of a tack to it. And it's gonna stick on top of your design, just like this one we have here. So this one's already been masked. Then when you are ready to put it on your shirt, you go ahead and you peel apart these two layers here. So you see my carrier sheet is now gone. I don't need that anymore. I then have my transfer that's ready to be put on a shirt. Go ahead and you just put it right on the shirt and then you heat press it. And then when that's done, you remove the carrier sheet on top and you're just left with a finished design on a shirt. So the heat soft and the satin vinyl do have some different finishes to them. So it's really just user preference on which one you prefer. But like I said, this vinyl is great for t-shirts, but they're both also good for other apparel and accessories. So you can put them on hats, on jackets, even tote bags. But the heat soft vinyl does have the advantage of working on leather goods. The next roll in media on our list is the wall flare removable vinyl. So I have a great example right here of an application we use this for, but like the name implies, this is a kind of material that you can stick on the wall and it is removable. So it doesn't leave any residue or anything. So we put this nice little graphic, it's a growth chart on our wall here. And if I wanted, I can just find a corner, I can peel it away and I can move its location and put it back up. Next is our white static cling, but this also comes in a clear static cling as well. So I'm right next to our window here because this cling media is great for windows and glass. So you just put it on to the surface, you lightly press it down and it's stuck on there. You'll see this a lot in um, gas stations or stuff like that with whatever's on sale or discount right now, whatever they're featuring. And the great thing is that this cling material is super removable. So you just peel it off you save it for later, you can put it on your carrier sheet, they can store it and they can use it when this sale applies later on. The next roll in media on our list is the glossy paper. So like the name implies, this is really just a glossy paper material. It's kind of like a thicker cardstock kind of material. You can use this for posters, for presentations and for trade show graphics and other things like that. And the last media on our list is the banner film. So this is the kind of material that you see, it's like that thick, nice, sturdy material that you see on those pop-up banners. You see them at trade shows, at markets, and stores and stuff like that. So if you have questions about any of the Roland media that we talked about in this video, go ahead and visit colemanandcompany.com and you can live chat with one of our supply experts.